Hey guys, it's Mark. Hi, Nay. Beach Bluff Outdoors. I, we, well, it was me, but I dragged her into it. Uh, we kind of got challenged by Tyler Wood. Go check out his channel. I have links in the description. Tyler Wood Outdoors. Uh, he's a great guy. He's from Iowa. Big outdoorsman. Big bushcraft. We're not so much into bushcraft. We're more hunting and backpacking and she's stand up paddle boarding what is it paddle boarding paddle canoeing, canoeing kayaking yeah. you're gonna speak up a little bit bro uh i do the hunting now she she is our our kennel manager at beach bluff outdoors i guess our official kennel manager uh my wife adopted a malinois y'all know i've got three blue ticks she's the one that handles them all but tyler wood challenged us what are three comfort items, three luxury items, three things you do not have to have for survival, but you always have in the outdoors? Uh, a day at your bushcraft camp or, or your day camp, backpacking down a trail, uh, man, even hunting, I think, in, in some instances. What are three things you got to have that you just don't need? So... You want to start or you want me to start? You can start. All right. Number one, the butt saver. Thermarest Z seat. Man, let me tell y'all. This thing is, don't weigh nothing, what, two? Two ounces, I think. Uh, Fifteen bucks. And this will save your rump. Man, she can tell you we hike Savage Gulf and... How are the rocks setting on the rocks? Yeah, that's how setting on the rocks was right there. The Butt Saver 2000. It's actually called the Thermarest Z Seat, but it is the Butt Saver 2000. That is my number one. I will not leave home without it. Man, I take this thing to Walmart. I might want to sit down in aisle seven while my wife's trying to decide between Kraft and Best Value Macaroni and Cheese. I don't know. But this thing is where it's at. Number two, Sea to Summit Wilderness Wipes. You can use wet ones. You can use, what was the ones we were just talking about? The Summer's Eve Wipes. Uh, there's the Baby Wipes. I don't care. I'm going to have a prepackaged moistened toilet for my junk, for my pits, for my face. Man, look, I can live in the wilderness. I can be dirty. I can be grimy. But I'm going to wipe off. Ain't got to have them. But I ain't leaving home without them. Deer blood, uh, wiping off your hands before you make a sandwich when you're canoeing. You put them in a Ziploc bag. They don't weigh hardly nothing. Man, take some wet wipes, y'all. You've got to have these things. My third luxury item is kind of an odd one. It weighs a little bit. It's pretty much completely useless. But you're not always exhausted. You're not always tired. It's not always right at dark. I take a book. It's usually the SAS Survival Field Handbook, or this is my favorite. Uh, Dave Canterbury used to be on Dual Survival, uh, Bushcraft 101. You got to have a book. You got to have something to keep your mind off the fact that you're in the middle of nowhere acting like you're homeless. So. That's my three, must have, never leave home without them, even if I don't need them. So, what you got? <laughs> okay, my first one is goldfish. I love goldfish. Y'all, y'all don't understand. My wife and I contribute at least 20% of our annual household income to this child's goldfish habit. I love them. I don't leave without them no matter where I'm going. I always have some kind of goldfish with me. Uh, you see, that was number one. You see, above all else, goldfish is number probably one. Probably my favorite thing on this planet. All right. Okay, number two is deodorant. I know I don't need it, but it just makes me feel a lot better. And 
I guess you could say more hygienic. <clears throat> and morale is important. If you don't feel good, if you don't have that confidence, your mind will beat you. So it's worth the wait, I guess, to you. Mm -hmm. It ain't worth the wait to me. I just wipe off and go on. My third and lastly is a pillow. Why do you have a camp pillow? I don't like sleeping without <laughs> one. <laughs> Man, I told her. Roll up a coat, take a stuff sack, put some clothes in it. No, she carrying a pillow, y'all. I, I can very much tell the difference, so. So that's your three. That's, yeah. You're not leaving without those three. Mm -hmm. So that's our our three. Uh, man, so you don't need this stuff, but it's, it's morale. It's to make yourself feel better, uh, and sometimes that makes all the difference out on the trail so check out Tyler Wood I'll, I'll put his link down here in the bottom um, and also we just made our big AT through hike announcement so I will also put our PayPal link down here if you want to contribute I, I mean uh, I could still use a down sleeping bag about 350 bucks I just bought her one uh, she really wants like an Osprey Eros Athos however you say it like a 60 liter, or, or I mean, if you if y'all are generous and, and she's beautiful and you're proud of her for what she's accomplishing, Z packs. Buy her a Z packs backpack. What are they? Six hundred bucks, I think. Three, four hundred bucks. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll put the PayPal link down here, man. Anything, we really appreciate it, guys. This is a huge, huge undertaking. It's a big financial undertaking. Uh. So we do appreciate all the help. Um, but that's our three. And check out Tyler's video with the link and see what his three is. And I think there may be a couple other my outdoor guys that have done them as well. So we'll link them all together, tag everybody, and you can see what is important to each one of us. And we'll see you in the next video. Love you guys.